We've heard from top internet players, founders, entrepreneurs, CEOs and investors and we've gained insights on the future of technology and digital creativity. I'm Melissa Tan, back for the final webisode on the digital ecosystem on Culture Shop. Let's find out how the tech industry has evolved over time. An industry that's developing very fast, uh, it's changed over the years. Uh, people are looking for uh, very, very specialized areas in this industry. Uh, we're talking about uh, startups who look at different angles, gaming industry, uh, esports, uh, you know, animation, things like that, uh, which, is, which is quite different from what, what it used to be before. So uh, to those who are starting up, I think at the end of the day, uh, you've got to look at, uh, uh, um, at the world as it is today and where it's going to be in 10 years' time. The business landscape in Malaysia has much to offer new startups today and it is expanding rapidly. Historically, tech's been more focused on its own, its own sphere, software, mobile, internet. But right now, tech has started to disrupt multiple industries and is attracting interest from people who are financially exposed to multiple asset classes. Um, and that, the third dimension is that what's happening in Southeast Asia is that Southeast Asia is becoming more exciting and more open and more deals have been done with folks from outside of Southeast Asia. I think what the startups can learn is if you want to start an internet business, start it now, look at ASEAN and build a business that's for the world market, not just for one country and never be afraid to fail because a lot of the people, entrepreneurs here have failed before but they have been perseverant. I think corporates are the way they are because bureaucracy keeps them safe. So they're very good at taking one model and just keep expanding on that one particular business model. They're not very good at pivoting because they're like big, they build a whole bunch of machinery to make one model work. But in our industries, which are just constantly getting disrupted, you have to keep pivoting. So, so I think there is a good blend of taking an idea, building it to scale, and then using the corporate approach to kind of driving scale out of it from for startups and at the same time taking the startup pivoting approach into the corporate world. I'm Melissa Tan. Thank you so much for joining us here at Culture Shop. If you've enjoyed that, hit subscribe to Big Asia Media and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.